Hello, here is a video on creating a photo book on Snapfish. I'm going to cover some basics in this video and we'll get into more details in later tutorials. From the home page I select books and select 8 by 11. Here I see the wide range of book types and sizes with the pre-discount prices that we offer. I want an 8 by 11 hardcover book. Next I pick the design. We offer many design templates. I pick Studio, which is our basic and simple design. Let's make it. That takes me to my photos to pick the ones I want to use in my book. I pick an album and select all the photos in it. Let's add them. I can also add more photos to my book later. I'm now in the book builder with the selected photos, but first it asks me if I want to autofill and gives me a few options based on the number of pages I want in my book. This has to do with the photo density per page. If I go with fewer pages, I'll get more photos per page and the print sizes will be small. If I go with more pages beyond 20, I will get fewer and bigger photos per page, but the cost will be higher. Autofill is a smart feature that automatically and quickly lays out my photos in the book doing most of the work for me. It's a great time saver and I recommend using it. I can review my book and if something is not to my liking, I can change it or run autofill again. But I also have the option to not autofill and place my photos manually one by one. Let's autofill. I'm going to pick the middle option. Here is my book already nicely filled with my photos in a matter of seconds. I can change the view from spread to page. This is useful when I want to focus and work on a single page. I can also go to book view and see my book cover to cover. And jump to any page I want. I'm not quite happy with this page. I want to change a photo and also change the page layout. I select and delete a photo. Go to the well and add another one to the page. Now I go to the shuffle gallery for the page and pick a layout from the many choices that I have. Note that there are many layouts under each shuffle style. Besides shuffle, we also have a useful auto arrange mode that I can turn on or off at any page. When it is on, the page will shuffle automatically as I add photos to it. On this page, I want to add some text. I have choices of many fonts, sizes, and colors for the text. I can move and rotate text, and I can expand it when I need more space. Now I add an embellishment. We have more than 4,000 of them that are nicely categorized. Embellishments can be resized and rotated. And if I have multiple overlapping objects or photos, I can move them to the front or back. Let's name and save this project. That's all for now, but there is much more to our book builder. Make sure to check out the other book tutorials so you can take full advantage of it and create amazing photo books. Thanks for watching!